Welcome to McCray Point Provincial Park. A tiny little park on a point jutting into beautiful Lake Simcoe. Join us as we check it out. McCray Point Provincial Park is about two hours north of Toronto near Aurelia on the northern shore of Lake Simcoe. It is classified as a recreational park. We're getting a bit of a later start today. Uh, what time did we leave at? 3.45? Yep. We are on our way to McCray Point Provincial Park, a park we have not been to yet, so we can check that one off our list. Jax has been eagerly waiting all day. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Trailer fill and dump station is on your left on your way to the registration office. So before you get to the office, you turn left, it's a small loop. There's one dump spot, it is not threaded, has one of those uh, handles on it that uh, means that you can't attach anything to it or water squirts out the sides, so no attaching anything to it. So no black water flush there. Fill spot, it has a threaded hose on it. There's actually a longer hose, so if you fill up on the right hand side, you can use the longer hose and bring it around and it too is threaded. If you're at the dump spot and somebody is at the water fill spot, you don't have to wait for them, there is a bypass. This is Wednesday, it is 7.25 p.m. and the check-in office is closed. It's a self-serve registration and if we've already booked a campsite, we just proceed to our campsite and come back in the morning to check-in. We were given a good tip from a loyal viewer of ours, Diane. She mentioned when you come in here, there's several trailer spots. You wanna take one of the further ones away from the office because if you take a close one, it's a really tight turn and you're probably gonna end up going over the curb. our site 163 um, the site is quite uneven in every direction but we managed to get it in and the front level of the trailer is down as far as it can go um, it is a bit more on the muddy side but luckily it's the sun is out and it's dry if it was wet and rainy then it would be really gross quite private actually so we like that and it's a decent size too but the main thing is Jax is happy wherever he is with us camping are you a happy boy? You're just glad to be camping with us, aren't you? One benefit to a site like this, front ends down so low, it is really nice and easy to take the bike off. McCray Point has two campgrounds for a total of 166 electric sites and 36 non-electric sites. North Campground has 125 electric sites, 108 of which are pull-through sites. Sites 51 and 53 are barrier-free. South Campground has 41 electric sites and 36 generator free non-electric sites. There are two comfort stations in North Campground, two in South Campground and one in the day use area. There is a beach, a children's playground, a volleyball court, a boat launch and an on-leash dog beach. The dump station has one dump spot and one fill spot. However, there are two additional trailer fill spots in North Campground and one in South Campground. There is one 4.6 kilometer loop hiking trail called the Water's Edge Trail, and it is rated as moderate. Let's go check out the park.
This is the on-leash pet exercise area and it's right next to the boat launch. You can launch your power boat here or canoes or kayaks, stand up paddle boards, anything like that. Unfortunately, there's no rentals at the park. And the boat launch is right next to the main beach. They might want to consider wearing beach shoes here. There is a mixture of gravel and crushed shells. Deus area has a lot of green space. There are picnic tables a comfort station, playground, volleyball net, and lots of goose poop because you're sharing the beach with the geese. There's a dock near site 114 in North Campground. Looks like a great spot to put in a canoe or kayak. There's about five parking spots. As for fishing on Lake Simcoe, there's pike, pickerel, perch, and bass. For cell service, Bell, Kudo, Telus, and Virgin Mobile. Service here is excellent. No hung up pages, no buffering. Everything's good. So Cheryl wrecked her foot the other day. She doesn't want to be going on a hike to aggravate it anymore. So it's just the boys heading out on the Water's Edge Trail. I wish I wasn't the first person going through here today because I'm breaking every spider web. I'm pecking them off my hands and face constantly. Probably should have waited a couple hours, had a few more people, hopefully some tall people go through here to break all the spider webs. So I did the Water's Edge Trail this morning without Cheryl because she's got her bad foot, but I told her how beautiful it was, and so she came out to have just a to look. to do a little portion of it. Yeah, this is a really nice area right here, so we're just doing about 100, 200 meters or so. Yeah. It's Cheryl's Lou Review, Lou Review, let's all talk about Lou's. Don't ask Ben, don't ask Jack, ask Cheryl, Cheryl's Lou Review. So there are only a handful of vault toilets in the park. They are all pit toilets, which means they are just a hole in the ground. So just keep those lids down to keep the smell out. And you can dump your dishwater down to help uh, discourage the smell. Um, they either have a sink with running water and soap or just hand sanitizer in the stall. There's a receptacle. Some just have natural light and some have uh, sensor lights. Seem quite clean, but it's still the beginning of the season. It hasn't been busy. They do have a little bit of a smell, but most of them do anyways. Um, I'm going to rate these a flower. Twelve kilometers east of the park is Tudhole Park. It's a great big park with a beach. It has uh, walking and cycling trails, and they hold events here, such as the Mariposa Festival, which is very popular.
that is comfortable for you. Thank you. Oh, take my that. God, Kelly. Oh, we did it. 1,100. 1,100. 1,200. Oh, I thought you'd get nothing. Okay, 1,200. You're stopping. You should stop. You should lose it. Oh! 1,250. I'm stopping there. Okay, what should I do? <laughs> Let me think. 1350. 1350, I think right. we'll stop right there. All right, it's still my gap. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we have Diane, who's multi talented and creating all these cool things for us. Holy cow, look at that clock. That is awesome. <laughs> and candles, then, she makes candles, soy candles. And look at this thing. Very you, And nice. you made all this. Yep. Wow. 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 Very nice. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> we'll have to display that, I guess, tomorrow when we, well, I guess we could hang it tonight for a bit. Oh yeah. It's not a lake here on sunset, but it'll do. So it's that time again for Cole's Notes and we are at McCray Point Provincial Park, not McCray Lake as I like to call it. That's right, because it's not on McCray Lake, it's no. on Lake Simcoe. Yeah, I don't know why I say McCray Point, or McCray Lake. Now <laughs> I'm saying it wrong. Never mind. McCray Point Provincial Park. So, what did you think? Well, it's a small park. Um, it might not be 100% to what we're looking for in a park. No. But it definitely has some nice qualities about it. Yeah, yeah. So, being our first time there, um, McCray and M Mara are going through some reconstruction at the moment. They've had to take down, uh, how many they trees? They took down 10,000 er, ash trees because of the emerald ash borer. Yes. It's killing the trees, and if they didn't take them down, the trees would die, and then they'd cause a hazard by falling down and falling on tents and trailers and people and things like that. So in the last year or so, they took 10,000 trees down. That's now, a lot. We've never been here before, so we don't know what it looked like no. before. We no. only know what it looks like now. That's right. And now it's a little concerning because there are a lot of trees laying down all over the place. Yeah, yeah and so um, there was a letter at the when we first arrived that if you drive by your site and it's not up to what you thought it was from when you first booked it, you can get a refund. Or well, I guess you could get another site if there's one available, but. Mm -hmm. Because the pictures that they show on the website are old pictures and the sites don't look anything like that anymore because of all the trees that have been removed. Mm -hmm. So they make it clear when you're booking this park, they have in the alerts that that is going on. So yes. they're, they're trying to make you aware of everything before you get here and not surprise you when you're here. The staff are working hard. They're busy cleaning up and cutting grass and... They are making a valiant effort yeah. at fixing up this place. And uh, I noticed that there's a lot of sites, especially in North Campground, where all the pull-through sites are, and that's, uh, North is all electric. Mm -hmm. um, there's uh, a lot of sites that are lower than the road around it, so it gathers a lot of water. And uh, they're filling those sites with gravel. So there's a lot of sites that are pure gravel right now that looks like they haven't been used yet and they might not be open yet. So they are really making an effort at making this park better. So kudos to them for that. Yes. In terms of campsites, I think South Campground, where we are, is much more to our liking. Yeah, because it's more private and treed, yeah, not all, open. Yeah, they're all back-end sites. Um, yeah, and, and a little more private. When you're mm -hmm. in North Campground, you uh, are going to get to know your neighbors quite well. You're going to see all your neighbors all around you. You're going to hear them all around you. There's zero privacy. Mm -hmm. um, unless you maybe you're lucky enough to get one of the ones on the edge of the campground, yeah. um, which are back in sites. Mm -hmm. But all those pull-through sites, you're seeing everybody. Yeah. And that's not really our thing. No, no. Um, what are some things you liked about the park? Lake Simcoe is beautiful. It is. It's it nice is, and clear. Yeah, crystal clear water. Um, it, yeah, it's it's really nice. 
It's great for boating. If you want to come here uh, to do fishing or to do power boating, this mm -hmm. is a great park for that. There's a mm -hmm. boat launch right here and you don't even have to pay extra for that. So we've seen parked at uh, campsites, seen people with sea dews. Yeah. Um, we've seen fishing boats um, and Lake Simcoe is great for fishing. So it's ideal for somebody who wants to do something like that. Mm -hmm. And I like the, the trail was nice, even though I couldn't walk the whole thing because of my foot. Um, I walked a bit and biked a bit of it, and it was nice. The trail was really nice. Yeah. I, I liked Along how- Along the water. It's yeah, nice the water's edge trail. Not too buggy unless you're just specifically in the tree section part. Yeah, a lot of it is right <laughs> along the water and little mm -hmm. beach areas and stuff. So it's really nice. We, uh, we really liked that trail. I was, I was impressed with it. And I also like the little lookout for the sunset. That was in North Campground. Yep. That was a nice spot to watch. Yeah, nice, nice long bench there. You can mm -hmm. sit there and watch oh, the sunset. There's a couple sections Good for sunset. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so there wasn't anything else really. They didn't really have a store. There's no visitor center. There's the um, day use area. It looks really nice from a yeah, distance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's where quite the beach large. is. Yeah, they have a comfort station, flush toilets at the beach area. But the beach area, there isn't really much of a beach area. It's kind of uh, thin, gravelly. Yeah, I think on the, the website water. it says it's a sandy beach. Well, you got a couple feet of sand maybe. Um, and it is a Maybe if sandy the water was in. lower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, like you were mentioning earlier, you want to have water shoes. You want to have water shoes because of the uh, small pebbles and the crushed shells. So that's a little sore on the feet. Yeah, and, it could touch your feet. And the, the goose poop combined, that's a bit of a... Yeah, that day area <laughs> is full of goose poop. The, goo the goose, the geese love that beach area. Yeah, and they love pooping all over it. Mm -hmm. So it's not really ideal for the kids to be playing in and stuff because there is so much goose poop so there. So keep your feet covered. Yeah, but the water is nice. The water's and nice. And it's nice and shallow yes. for a long, yes. long time. So, so wanna... it's good for the kids to play in the water. Yeah. Back to the campgrounds again. I was just thinking of it. Okay, so we're in our campground. There's a loop and a bunch of the uh, sites in the outer part of the loop back onto the Water's Edge Trail and the water. Uh, some of them have a path going down there, but not many. The other loop here in South Campground, like 167 to 203, mm -hmm. it's the uh, non-electric generator free area. They have some really nice sites there. They look mm -hmm. like manicured lawns. Really nice grass. Yeah, they, they keep the sites really well groomed. All the sites that are along the water have a nice path that take you right down to the water. So if you got canoes and kayaks or something, you can take them right down, launch from there. So that's really nice. And on the inner part of the loop that isn't backing onto the water, they all have little trails that take them right to the comfort station. They have their own individualized little trail. So that's pretty cool. Now, South Campground, there's two comfort stations and neither of them have showers. Yeah. That's, they're just toilets. I guess maybe they're the older ones, they must be. Yeah. And North Campground has two and they both have showers. They do, so. And none of the comfort stations have laundry. There's Correct. no laundry facilities. Correct. No laundry facilities. You're going to have to hit Aurelia for that. Yeah. Which is like less than 15 minutes yeah. away. So, for a reading. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm saying uh, this isn't it's probably not a park that we'd come back to. There's it's great if you want to just get away from work and be with family and friends and play games and read and just chill. That park is great for that. Right. But yeah. we like to be a little more active. We like to do a little bit more exploring and, and yeah. that sort Any of more thing. more history or anything of the parks. Yeah. So it's not really our kind of thing. I would give it around like a five and a half maybe uh, to a six. Yeah, maybe six would be. You think a six? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, yeah, it's a cute little park and needs a little bit of TLC, but... And they are working on it. They're yeah. making a real effort at working on it. And it does have a nice trail, and the water is very nice. Good for fishing. So, yeah. So, we are giving it a, a six. six. Okay, where to next? We are off to, I can say it, Bass Lake Provincial Park. That's right, yes, Bass Lake. because it's on Bass Lake. Right. And you can fish for bass <laughs> in Bass Lake at Bass Lake Provincial Park. And we're going to be heading there in a couple hours, but yes. you're going to have to wait a week to see that video. Yes, yes. It's close by. Sister Park. Yep, Sister Park, Mara, McRae, and Bass Lake. They're sister parks, and they're all very close to each other. Yes. So we're going to go check out that one, and we'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Happy camping. Bye.